Hi everyone, my name is Omri and I'm a product manager working on APM. And I've got a question. Has anyone here not used a container yet? Docker, Kubernetes, ECS. The industry is changing and we're evolving with it. Today I'm going to talk to you about the next step in the evolution of deep infrastructure observability from inside APM. But before going into that, I want to start at the beginning and the base of everything that we do in APM. And that is you, our customers. In the two and a half years Datadog APM has existed, we've built a killer base of happy customers and partners, helped thousands of engineering teams gain better visibility into their stacks on a single pane of glass, and we currently monitor trillions of requests on hundreds of thousands of hosts, services, and functions. In the same two years, we've grown from just Python, Ruby, and Go to eight languages and dozens of frameworks and out-of-the-box integrations with web services, databases, and caches. As we've built all of these, we've always been there with you as your stacks became more and more complex and modern. Datadog APM has always provided you with deep observability into your own infrastructure. We started with connecting APM with your host health metrics and showing these side by side along with logs so you can always see what's the root cause of any slow request or error that a user is reporting. Today, we're happy to talk about the next step in this evolution. Deep observability from APM to every level of your container stack. To those who haven't been following, Containers and container orchestration have gained incredible popularity over the past few years, and with them came more cost-efficient, scalable, and bespoke architecture. As of last year, over 20% of monitored hosts ran Docker, and more than half of those were orchestrated by some service. You can see the trends here for yourself, but I'm sure most of you have already experienced this firsthand. This means that you have more control over your infrastructure cost and efficiency, you can deploy upgrades more quickly and frequently, and you can scale your business as you need, when you need. But with this great advance uh, comes a heavy cost. Architecture becomes more and more complex, and we are here to make sure that you have an easy way to monitor it. Now, services already grow geometrically with your stack but the underlying container infrastructure grows even faster. It's no longer the case that identifying one machine that's out of memory is sufficient to find the root cause of an issue. Today we deploy code tens, sometimes hundreds of times a day across thousands of containers, spread across hosts, data centers, and sometimes even multiple cloud providers. This means a new way to look at your throughput latency and error rates is needed. And with that, today, we're happy to announce that we're pairing our deep view of containerized environments with the power of APM that already allows you to easily detect and investigate performance issues. And we're offering this out of the box, no configuration needed. Automatic tagging of all container metadata with APM means that the Datadog agent automatically tags each APM tracer event with container and orchestration metadata. Observability into the individual trace allows you to track an individual request and every container pod deployment and namespace it passes through. You can see all the relevant metrics for the container on the trace itself and immediately correlate latency and errors to identify a root cause. Deep analysis with trace search and analytics gives you the power to slice and dice your traces based on all container tags out of the box. You can easily create dashboard widgets and monitors based on throughput, latency, and error rates, and alert on a deployment, replica set, or even a single container that you're interested in. Let's say that we are an e-commerce website, and the growth team has complained about a drop in revenue from recommended products. We can see all of the services on the service map and from there drill into the individual product recommendation service. You can see the requests coming in. From here, we can jump to the service page and see all of the classic APM metrics such as um, throughput, latency, and error rates and drill into an individual request. From here, we can now see the container info tags um, on the tags tab. If we open it, we can see the full details of our container stack. 
We can also see it presented side by side, our host tags, and in the future, uh, our container metrics will live here as well. Finally, we can take a look at Trace Search and Analytics. From here, we can analyze all the throughput that goes through our container stack. In this case, we'll filter down just to the Kubernetes deployment our team owns, which is product recommendation. We can uh, filter down to just seeing errors, and from here, group by pod name to see the individual pod that's throwing more than its share of errors, and from here, identify if we might need to reset it. Now, we've run this query once, but we might not want to do it again, so we can always export this uh, immediately to a monitor or a dashboard, and then have it available to us always. Now, Every piece of the puzzle that I've shown so far started on the APM side, but this is a two-sided integration. And starting today, you can also see traces for containers in the container list itself. Suggest you give it a try. Um, I want to tie everything that we've talked about so far together. APM has always stood with our customers at the forefront to provide deep observability into any level of your stack. Today, this means adding containers alongside hosts. In the future, it will mean serverless functions, managed environments that abstract away hosts and containers entirely, or any new infrastructure that appears in the market. We'll be there with you. Thank you.